This is the first sniffer to ever make it to the end island. Okay, I lied, not yet. My goal is to take a sniffer from the ocean to the ender dragon over the void and to the end islands. But first, we need Eyes of Ender to go to the end, which is why we're in the nether. We searched for a fortress for about 10 minutes, but instead found a bastion. Now, bastions are notorious for ruining people's days, and are home to the lovely and completely harmless piglin brutes, so I obviously thought we were fine. Clearly, I was wrong. Shit. I'm in lava. I'm dead. No! So while I decided to go back and get more iron, Peach went to find those pesky enderpearls. 20 minutes later, and wow, would you look at that? I just materialized full iron armor right onto me. Anyways, Peach and I met up and then went back to the nether again for, you guessed it, more enderpearls. But luckily for us, we had found gold in the bastion, traded with the piglins, and oh, now we're out of food. No, save my stuff. Okay. Where's my box? It's right down there. <laughs> <laughs> Just pretend I made it back here. Oh my god, I'm back. What? We then came to the sudden realization that we needed the actual sniffer, which, believe it or not, is the entire point of this video. So now that we've gotten everything, we can head back to the overworld. We just need to find a sniffer egg that will hatch our precious baby. This, however, would not be an easy task. Sniffer eggs are found inside suspicious sand in ocean ruins which are located in oceans, specifically warm oceans. There's absolutely no way that oh, we'd be able to find a warm ocean, let alone a warm ocean ruin in such a short amount of time. Oh my god, a warm ocean ruin. But there's no way we find a sniffer egg on the first try. Do you know how rare those things are? Wait. <gasps> I got it. No way. Egg. Let's, Let's go. Okay, before you get too comfortable, I should let you know that you need 12 ender pearls to open the end portal. It's not like that applies to us or anything. We don't need to go back to the nether. We then spent the next half an hour oh, wandering around the nether okay. without any food until we finally came across a warped forest. Oh, it's not necessary. <laughs> oh, what the? Oh! What? This is bad. Oh, my God. Food. I want... Finally, after farming all of the ender pearls, we realized we also needed blaze rods to craft the eyes of ender. So back we go into the depths of the nether, exhausted and on the edge of starvation. We nearly died like 10 times, but luckily for you, I'm skipping over this because it's not interesting. Eventually, we got all the materials and left the nether faster than the average American student can drop out of college. Now we can start searching for the stronghold, but because we were so illfully prepared, it was then that we realized we aren't actually immortal and surprisingly still require a constant food source to survive. Wow. I have slowness. I have slowness. I have slowness. I have slowness. Help. 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 I need to smell food. Oh, there's sus sand in here as well. I don't have water. I got- <laughs> You good? <laughs> Please just box yourself in, log off, anything. Oh my god. <laughs> I went down for two seconds and this place is in ruin. I have poison. Put a bed down. Put a bed down. Put a bed down. Bed. I don't have one. I'm I don't have die. a coffee table or I'm one. I'm half a heart. Don't, don't stop walking around. Stop. Stop walking around. I need to get wood and food and anything really. I'm gonna be right back. There's no wood. Okay, really? I think I got it. I'm gonna go to village. I hate this challenge. I hate playing rerunning normal Minecraft. You should probably get to finding the stronghold soon. After narrowly escaping complete starvation, we began looking for the stronghold. Pete showed me how to triangulate where the end portal is using very complex math that I should have learned in high school but was too busy rizzing up my entire math class. So now there's nothing else to do but start the 2000 block journey. Same speed going backwards. Oh. <laughs> hey, look, now we have a camel. I sure do hope nothing bad happens so to it before we reach the stronghold. And we're here. It took us a while to get through the jungle, which is objectively the worst biome in the game, but we eventually made it to where the stronghold is. I did try to bring the camel down with us, but just the thought of digging a 4x4 hole yeah, all the good. way down to deep slate with an iron pickaxe kind of put me off it's for some normal. reason. I can't imagine why. We then I wandered around like a toddler in Walmart for 16 hours before we finally found the portal. Here. I don't have water. I, I left my water. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna land it for now. Now all we had to do was hatch the sniffer egg, which I can hear you saying, awful, surely 
surely this is the easiest part of the entire process, right? No, stupid. It turns out we forgot the moss, the most crucial part in speeding up the hatching phase of the egg. And there wasn't a single lush cave in sight. Probably because they're all on the ground. Cough, cough. But wait, it gets worse. We also forgot to bring a lead, which we would need to drag the sniffer along with us in the end without it falling off into the void because of how abnormally large it is. But since I wasn't doing this alone, I got Peach to find the lead and wait for the egg to hatch himself while I'd left to go eat Domino's. I'm such a great friend. Now I'm back and it's time for the big moment, defeating the ender dragon with the sniffer. So we opened up the portal, prepared a walkway for the sniffer and it was on. Me, Peach and the sniffer versus the ender dragon. What's the name? Plutonium. Plutonium. Yeah. Pluto. Pluto. Pluto for short. Because we have great timing, we decided to name the sniffer now. In the middle of the fight for our lives, we called it Plutonium or Pluto for short. However, Peach decided that tying him to a flimsy wooden fence because he needed to see was a good idea. So if Pluto gets a little too close to the dragon, then that's it's not so on me. Anyways, after defeating the Go dragon on. and ensuring that we didn't have to eat the charred remains of Pluto, we set off for the end island. Oh, the first we sniffer to the end. How did we do that? Now, why are we going to the end islands, you might ask? Well, we thought it would be pretty funny if we flew across the void with Pluto hanging like an oversized pinata. You know, normal stuff. Now, normally there'd be a crazy time lapse here again, but I can't be bothered so... Oh, wow, would you look at that? We made it to an end city. We were a little worried that Pluto wouldn't be able to make it all the way to the city, so we just bridged over to get the elytra ourselves and flew back. Not without a perfectly timed death, of course. Need more big mobs like this. I don't know where this ends, by the way. Oh, it is massive. I keep forgetting how large he is. Yeah, this is very slow. This is not sliding. big enough. <laughs> Watch, watch, watch. I don't yeah, have the elytra. Like, don't push him. Just my body him. is as large as he's, his yeah, nose. He's eating you. I think you should attach him to the lead and then push him off because he doesn't detach. And then start gliding slowly. Because if you glide and he's still on the platform, it's gonna take him a while and it's gonna it's gonna burst. Let him hang. Yup, yup. Okay, good. Hey. No way. <laughs> no he's way. Get the close to the ground. Look at the ground. No way. No way. No way. <laughs> no. This is amazing. No way he doesn't die, right? He's no alive. way! There's no way he survived that! Let's what? Go. How did he survive? <laughs> <laughs> And just like that, Pluto was the first sniffer to make it across the outer end islands, fly across the void, and survive. I know, how crazy is that? I sure hope nothing horrific happens to him within the next three seconds of the video.